Now the first step is to enable PlayStation controller using control panel. Uh, this is for PlayStation controller user. Uh, first of all, type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel. Go to hardware and sound and then go to sound option. And over here you have to connect your controller. So make sure that you connect your controller using the USB cable. And once you connect the control, let me connect the controller now. Now controller is connected, you will see your dual sense wireless controller. Now if this is disabled, so if this is disabled like this, you have to make a right click and enable it. If it is already enabled, or once you have enabled, you can make a right click and then click on configure speaker and then select quadraphonic, click on next. Put a check on front, left and right and then put a check on surround speaker. Make sure both are checked and then click on next. Finish. Okay. Now you can launch the game and then check. This is work for many players so it might work for you. Now it's still not. The next step is to switch from a ZERTY keyboard to QWERTY keyboard. Now this has also worked for many players. This has also worked in demo version. So you can press ALT plus SHIFT or CTRL plus SHIFT or Windows key plus spacebar to enable QWERTY more and then switch to curtain keyboard and then check next step is to enable or disable steam input and then restart the game so make a right click on the game select properties go to controller tab over here you can first of all try disable steam input launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even uh, try enable steam input so try both disable and check if that does not work you can enable it and then check check which one is working fine for you but you have to restart the game each time and then next step is to enable or disable controller support in steam settings so at the top left here you can see steam go to steam then go to settings then go to the controller tab now over here for uh, many xbox controller user uh, over here you can see uh, yes enable steam input uh, Xbox controller now if this is uh, enabled you can disable it if this is already disabled you can enable it and check so check which one is working fine for you so first of all try disable if that does not work enable it now if you have PlayStation controller first of all try enable uh, games W slash O support and then you can check if that does not work in that case you can not enabled you can select not enabled and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try enable and then check so check check which one is working fine for you so configure your controller over here and then check now the next step is to playstation controller user use ds4 windows so if you're using this software uh, in that case you can launch it if you don't have it you can install it install it and then configure your controller and then check next step is to update controller using playstation accessories app or xbox accessories app so if you have xbox controller in that case uh, you can open Microsoft Store and in the search you can just type in Xbox Accessories and then click on Xbox Accessories app and then you can launch Xbox you can install it now once installed you can open Xbox Accessories app and you have to connect your controller using the USB cable so otherwise you won't see any options over here so make sure that you connect your controller using the cable and once let me connect it now now once connected you will see three dots over here click on this three dots and if there is any update you will see update available you, you will see update now option you can update it and once controller is up to date now you can check now if you have xbox uh, sorry playstation controller in that case you can install playstation accessories app so you can go to playstation website go to the official website and then you can download this playstation accessories app and then you can launch you can install it and then you can launch it now once installed you can launch place accessories app controller once it is connected if there is any update in my case it's already up to date if there is any update you will see update option so update your playstation controller and then you can check now if that does not launch steam in big picture mode so at the go to steam at the top right you will see big picture mode icon so click on enter big picture mode now once steam is in big picture mode you can launch the game from here and then check if that does not work the next step is to disconnect all the 
USB adapter connected to the computer. So if you have any kind of USB additional adapter connected, disconnect it. If you have, uh, you can disconnect extra external keyboard and mouse. And later on, you can always plug in. Uh, then disconnect additional controller connected to the computer. Sometimes we have extra controller, the dongle connected, disconnected, disconnect arcade stick, disconnect multiple monitor. If you have any virtual com uh, controller, this is important. If you have any kind of virtual controller connected, like VJoy, etc., you can disable it or you can uninstall it and then check. If nothing is working, the last step is to use wired connection. So connect your controller using the USB cable and then you can launch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.